Hey, what's going on, you guys? K1GM, I'm Steve Vermont. And what we're going to do right now, I'll show you what I got coming or what I got in store. Uh, I'll do a quick little demo here. I'm, I'm going over to all transverters on satellite using the IC7300. The advantage to that is, is that the A57D is a great, for what it is, it's a great little radio, but it does not, it suspends the Doppler shift, um, the automatic Doppler shifting whenever you're in TX. And what I'm going to show you is, is how the 7300 works now with a transverter. So to do this, you would need, for an uplink, you need a 435 transverter. I have one coming from the Ukraine. I have a two meter one here already, which is superb. Um, it's a great little piece, piece of gear. Uh, really, really good stuff. Spot on frequency right out of the box, which I can't say that for the 857 because it's off frequency. <laughs> All of them are on uh, 2 and, and 70. Um, so I'm going to demo this for you. I'll walk you through what you're looking at. So you're looking at the screen right here. So if you look, you'll see the antenna. This is a west to east pass and this is, an, this is Apogee um, right here you're going to see the Doppler shifting rapidly at this point. Now, when you're keyed up with the 857, every time you're keyed up and it's in TX, it's not, it's suspending the Doppler correction, which means your signal just walks while you're under TX. You let go of the key, it snaps back to where you're, where it was locked up previously. So the 7300 is, I'm hoping this is going to solve that issue. And it's a lot cheaper than buying like an 857 or another radio. Shoot, a transfer, a couple transverters, 160 bucks, 170, 80 bucks. A lot cheaper than buying a radio. So let me demo this for you. Looks like the audio's coming up. So I'll kick the audio on. And I'll switch back and forth between the screens. So if you look right here, you've got uh, 29279. Now, technically, this is being spit out on 430, 435 uh, with a transverter, but you need your VFO on the radio set to 29279. Uh, 280 is the center frequency. So you can see it's shifting here. So let me show you the radio. So there's the radio. And as it approaches, it's going to start to shift. So let me get the audio up. Hey, you'll see it shifting there. It's shifting. Now it's approaching Apogee, so it's going to get really crazy. Okay, I'm going to put it into TX, so here we go. See the Doppler shifting? I'm going to TX into a dummy load. See, it's continuing to, uh, now it's TXing into a dummy load right now on 0% drive. See the Doppler, correct, still going? Very cool. Take it out of transmit. 
She's at Apogee. This is the fastest point at which Doppler will shift. So I gotta spin this sucker around. Kick it back into transmit. See how the radio is still shifting? to transmit again. As you see, it's in transmit, and it's still shifting. <coughs> okay, kick it back into transmit. Still shifting. So there you go. And that's pretty much it for that pass. So, uh, yeah, there you go, man. Um, cheap way, a very, very inexpensive way to get into sideband satellites. If you have your HF rig, uh, you need to find out first if the HF rig will Doppler shift while it's in TX. The seven, for this is all you, for all you 7,300 aficionados, there you go, man. You can get into FM and uh, sideband satellites using SDR console, which is free, and their satellite tracking program with a couple transverters. And the one caveat I will mention is that there's two particular satellites, the SO50 and the AO7. AO7 is sideband, SO50 is FM. The problem with those two is that if you, you can get a general coverage transverter, right? Like, so let's say you want to buy the 435 megahertz transverter. Um, that will put you into all the satellites, pretty much, FM and sideband. However, remember you're transmitting out of the 7300 pre-transverter, your VFO on, is going to be on the 10 megahertz band, but to cover the entire band, the transmit's going to have to be opened up because you can't transmit above, what is it, 29.8 or whatever it is. Um, so you'd have to do a TX mod, a Mars cap, uh, if you wanted to use just one transverter and cover those two satellites. The SO50 is an FM sat. That's a two meter uplink, so you need a two meter transverter for that one. Um, that one, I believe, is way up high. It's like 145, what is it, 850, 870, something like that. See, that puts it out of the transmit ability on 10 meters on the 7300, so you're busted. 
However, keep this in mind, the A07 is long in the tooth. And I worked it the other day and it was not a good satellite to work. It was pretty, pretty horrible, actually. Um, so I'm not real thrilled about the A07 anyways. Uh, it's also uh, a mode AB satellite, so it's alternating between mode A and B and you can look that up online what that means. So, yeah, whatever. That to me is not a deal breaker. Uh, the SO50, no problem. You can basically use an HT. You could use a 4-watt HT, an 8-watt HT, just jack it into the antenna for the uplink on the SO50 so you're covered there. So just trying to give you guys some options as to what how costly you do not need to buy actually you'll be shooting yourself in the foot by buying a radio unless you're going to buy like a 9100 or a 9700 in my opinion seriously um for 160 bucks you can have a full duplex system with an rtl sdr with us if you've already got the 7300 sitting there uh it's beautiful man catch you later 73 k1 gmm